Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to uh, the first episode of the BRO Reloading Bench Quick Tip. Um, you guys, look, uh, coming from the very messy BRO Reloading Bench, it has been a long season, or a short season, depending on how it, uh, it falls on your mind there, guys. Uh, but uh, anyway, quick tip for today. I noticed a lot of observant subscribers had noticed the shiny... The shiny ends on the uh, on the ends of my reloads. Wonder what was causing that. Well, what's causing that is I had heard from uh, several of my subscribers asking if I had tried the nail hardener. Ladies, nail hardener. I've got i got two or three different kinds here from Walmart, from the from Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, wherever you could find this stuff for fifty cent or a buck a bottle. It's pretty cheap stuff. But it works really, really good. I've got a coyote load here that I just put together. And using the precision buffer, it's really, really fine. Now, the ballistic uh, products buffer is not as quite as fine. But if there's any kind of a gap, that, now this is this is pretty big gap right there, guys. But stuff like this happens. And whenever you get, especially your uh, like your Winchester, I've already sealed this one up. This is another coyote load. Uh, and this one's already sealed up. But you see where Winchester burns the center. There's a rod that comes down and it burns the center and seals that crimp. And when you reload these holes, a lot of times it'll leave a hole or so, uh, and that precision buffer will spill out of there like an egg timer. Using the nail hardener, that's the brand probably the ladies got for me from Dollar Tree. Then uh, we just take this nail hardener and seal up the end of your reload it'll keep the buffer in keep the moisture out and it literally dries in seconds okay guys that's BRO quick reloading tip right there for you this is Wade with the BRO channel and we'll be back with lots more very soon bye bye